Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today I'm going to be doing a full review on my Tiffany & Co. Knot Ring with the Diamonds. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. Today we're doing a review, so I hope you like that. But if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so that you're notified every time I upload and you guys without any further ado let's get into the review okay so I got this ring probably back in I think March something like that where's my phone I was gonna go back on my YouTube and see when four months ago so that was oh May I thought I had it for longer than that but still it's been a while it's been about four months so I do have a lot of thoughts regarding this ring. We're going to talk about whether I think you should get it, if it's worth it, if the amount of metal and diamonds are worth it that you're getting in this ring and like for the price. Does it scratch? Does it discolor? All of that good stuff, we'll get into it. First things first, I just wanted to show you the ring like really up close. I don't think this camera has like a macro feature, but if I can't get it to focus on the camera then I'll show you on my phone but it is the Tiffany and Co knot ring I did get mine in rose gold and I got it with the diamonds and my husband actually got this for me for my birthday it was the cutest thing in the world um, of course he did why did I think he got it for me in like March he got it for me for my birthday my birthday's in June he got it for me in May so let me just go back and check my order because they sent me a receipt yeah here it is okay so without taxes and everything this ring is 1900 with taxes and all of that it ended up being 2077 so 2077 dollars and 25 cents and that is for and i got mine in the size 5.5 if anybody cares to know that but i'm gonna go to the website and look at everything again and just see how much metal you get with this and like what are the carats of the diamond what's the weight of the rose gold there's not really a difference between the gold and the rose gold i know a lot of people say to get gold instead of rose gold because you're getting more actual gold than you will if you get rose gold but with this i found that they were the same amount because rose gold if you didn't know it was mixed with copper I believe it's copper to get that rosy kind of color and then regular gold is just you know regular gold so when you buy a ring that's just gold that's all you're getting is just gold but then rose gold it has like i don't know the f actual ratio but i'm probably gonna say like 90 percent gold 10 percent copper to get that like rosy color um so it's the same is it the same price did it go up oh my god it did of course it did. So it used to be 1,900. That's what it was when I bought it. Now it's 1,990. It went up a full $90, almost 100. Jesus. Okay, so here we are on the webpage. So it is 18 karat rose gold with round brilliant diamonds. The karat total weight is 0 0.05. So does that mean it's like half a karat? It's not a full carat, it's half a carat. Okay, well it doesn't give me the weight of the rose gold or anything like that. And it is 18 karat rose gold. So I mean, this rose gold is never going to dull, never going to discolor in theory. It's not vermil, you know, like that thing that people make jewelry out of now. I think it's not aluminum, it's not titanium, it's not stainless steel, it's not... What else do people make jewelry out of that like tarnishes over time? You know, it's not any of those. <laughs> so when it comes to the actual price of this, oh God, well actually, you know what? I think I will say that it's a pretty decent price because I will tell you why. The Cartier Justin Clou ring is $1,200 um, without taxes and like $1,300 with taxes. 
and that is just for the base model, the thin version as well. And that is just with just the metal, no diamonds, no extra anything. The knot ring just by itself with no extra is $1,000 even. And I think it went up as well. Like I think it used to be like 900. So with the ring with the diamonds being 1,900, I don't think that's too bad because if you go to like Cartier, let's see, and I look up the Juice and Clue ring with the diamonds, it's probably going to be higher. Of course, the big one is um, more. We're not looking at that one. And we're not looking at the one with the diamonds all over it, just the ones on the head of the knee, uh, on the head and the butt of the needle. I hope they're not all sold out. Do they not have that option? Are you kidding? Is it only the small version in the just basic metal with no diamonds. Can you only get the diamonds if you get like the thick version? That's stupid. Okay, well, yeah, the thick version, just the regular just include with the diamonds on the head of the nail and the butt of the nail is over $4,000. So I definitely think you're getting a better price technically for the Tiffany & Co one because it is barely two thousand dollars is more when i got it when now it's it'll be probably with taxes probably two thousand one hundred something like that so it's not too much difference but i do think it is a better price point if you're wanting to get like diamonds with something because like that's one of the only reasons i was able to get this because i was thinking about getting just the knot ring just by itself with no diamonds but then i was like yeah but i really want the juice and clue ring by itself with no diamonds so why don't i get this one in the diamonds so when it comes to the price point and which one i think is better i do think that the Tiffany & Co ring is going to be a better price point for what you get. And now let's talk about everyday wear and like the comfortability of this ring. Does it snag on things? Does it get caught in things? Does it have any issues? Well, I will tell you one thing. I am not somebody that wears my rings in the shower. I do, I only wear these two in the shower because I can't get them off. <laughs> I mean, I can, but I have to really try. So these are the only two that I actually wear in the shower. The other ones, like this one and these two, I take off when I take a shower. So I haven't had any issue with them tarnishing or becoming darker or discolored or anything like that. But then again, they are real gold and real rose gold. So they're not going to do that anyways. You're not going to have to worry about them tarnishing or, you know, staining your finger or becoming a different color or anything like that so i haven't had any issue with that whatsoever when it comes to like scratches and stuff i will say that it probably does have a few scratches on here but you really can't tell that much i mean the thing is is that they're probably like tiny little hairline scratches that you wouldn't be able to tell unless you had like a really good light shined on it yeah even with that i feel like it's mostly just dirty <laughs> I need to clean it. I do definitely see some like hairline scratches on here just from like everyday wear, but it's definitely nothing massive. And I do wear these rings all day, every day. I do not take them off unless I shower. I sleep with all of my rings on. Now, when it comes to like snagging on things, I have had, if I wear like a really chunky knit sweater, and I feel like this kind of goes with all rings, so I'm not gonna deduct, you know, too many points from this because I feel like this goes with all rings. If you're wearing a really chunky knit sweater, if you're wearing a sweater that sheds a lot, if you're wearing a sweater that has like visible like hairs <laughs> poking out of it, it's 1 million percent gonna get stuck. It's gonna get caught in it, especially if the sleeves are really long and billowy and everything and like kind of cover your hands. It's gonna get caught, it's gonna get stuck. The fur, the hair gets stuck in my wedding ring as well. They get stuck in all of them. <laughs> so it's definitely not beyond getting stuck in stuff. I've never had an issue with it like getting caught on anything really, like actually caught on anything the the hair that gets stuck to it i can just pick it out never had any issue with it getting caught because it is quite flush to your skin it's not really sticking out too much so i haven't had any issue with that the comfortability is actually quite comfortable i usually just forget i have this on just because it's on all the time and then i look down i'm like oh i will say i'm someone that likes my rings to be quite tight um just because i am terrified of losing them or 
misplacing them or them falling off or something. I'm not gonna have any issue with this because it's getting into winter time, but when it's hot and your fingers swell, I have noticed that it does get a little tighter. So right now it's pretty cold in the apartment because it's, you know, 8 a.m. It's fitting great right now. I can't feel anything, but I will say when it starts to get hot or when I'm just hot in general and my fingers swell, it does hurt a little bit just because it is pressing in to your finger like on the inside so i do definitely have like an indentation i even have one now but you're not going to be able to tell oh yeah you can i do have an indentation right now but like whenever it's hot and my fingers start to swell you can really see that indentation and it's quite deep to be honest so, so now i guess we can kind of talk about like is it worth it like is ring like is this ring worth $2,000, do I think that you should buy this ring? Of course, I think that it depends on your style. If you are somebody that has been looking at this ring and if you are looking for a review on this ring, then I think absolutely, yes, it is definitely worth it. It's gonna last you forever. It's never going to tarnish. It's never going to discolor. The only way that it would you know, be damaged is if you lost it or if you like, I don't know, dropping a boulder on it. It's just, it's not gonna be easily damaged. This is gonna be something that I'm 28 right now, and this is gonna be something that will last me, that I can give my daughter or something, and that she can give her daughter, you know, if they, you know, if she decides to have kids or something. I don't have a daughter, but I'm just saying if I did, but you know. You know what I mean? It's gonna last a very, very, very long time. It's still gonna be just as beautiful and it's going to be just as vibrant and you know, all you have to do is just clean it. But if you are somebody that is just specifically watching this video to see what I think, to what you should do, if it's, you know, good, if you should buy it, you know, if you're already ready to spend the money for that, then I think yes. I do think that you're gonna be getting a lot more bang for your buck with this ring than like the Cartier one. Is this something that you really need? Do you know, is, any, is anybody going to really like notice that you're wearing a Tiffany and Co. You know, I think a lot of people probably notice more when you're wearing a Cartier. People notice more when you're wearing a Van Cleef because their items are so recognizable. Like, now, when it comes to the knot ring, I don't think that many people, I mean, no other place has a knot shape either. Like that is specifically for Tiffany, a knot ring, knot shape. But I feel like it is less recognizable than these other big brands. Now I say that now, and like I said, I do think Tiffany & Co is coming more into the forefront of um, luxury jewelry as of right now. So I do think that the knot ring will be getting more and more and more popular as the brand gets more and more and more popular again. So I do think that if you are thinking about this and if you're wanting to get on the hype train before everybody starts getting on the hype train, then I would still go ahead and get this if you like it. But of course, do you need to spend $2,000 on a ring? Absolutely not. Like material possessions are not what define you. They're not what makes you you. They are absolutely just a bonus. They're a luxury. That's why they're called luxury. You do not need this. You do not need a $2,000 ring. I think it's again up to you, but I do love mine. I think that she's beautiful and amazing and, uh, and immaculate and incredible. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's basically my review on the Tiffany & Co. Knot Ring with the diamonds. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!